Hey everybody, welcome to Obscurities in Miniatures. And you know what? I want to show you some stuff that caught my attention, as is often the case when I'm wasting time on the internet, when I should be doing other things than wasting time on the internet. When I came across some models from Dragon's Forge Miniatures, and in particular, their Steel Watch Knights. And yeah, when I saw this, I was like, you and me, we're going to be friends. Models with too many limbs, too many weapons. A match made in High Lord Tamberlane Heaven. I saw this guy at first and I was like, you know what, he seems way too big. And so I thought, mm, maybe I'll print out a couple other models from the set just to make sure. I hadn't printed any of Dragon Forge's stuff and coincidentally... Uh, talk about good timing. They just had a Kickstarter, at least at the time of me filming this, that was really just taking off, already funded for some really nice looking dwarf stuff from, I think it was called the uh, Karenheim, it was their Stonebreaker Dwarves Town. So I'll put a link to that as well. But so, like I was saying, I decided if I'm going to print this dude, then I'm going to try to print some other ones. And I got to say, they had some really unique models in this set. So, for example, they had the very traditional, you know, knightly knight types. Pretty straightforward. Nice prints overall. If anything, to me, a little bit on the cartoony side. Not in the proportions or anything, just something about the the sculpts themselves, and not that that's a bad thing necessarily, this is one of the Dragon's Forge bases. Um, interestingly enough, both these guys actually will fit on each other's base, they have a nice little spot for both the feet over there. And in this set they had, like I said, some more traditional guys, some more funky guys, but not just the guys, they had the gals as well. They had this interesting model. And I could see this lady having, you know, a more rogue trader-like vibe. I want to say there were actually strings for the crossbow, but me being me broke them off. I just I dig the, the ribbon on the back with the bird-like headpiece and the beaked mask. And I didn't mess up the tips of those crossbow bolts there, but that's on me. I think this is actually the base that the forearmed guy was supposed to be on. I like the little tufts of grass, though. So like I was saying, I thought they were going to be kind of big. Um, but then I thought, you know what, maybe the issue is because I've got them on these bases. I mean, they're, they're pretty, pretty tall bases, using my typical witch hunter friend here. And I thought, yeah, well, she's a little bit taller anyways, he's not human, and this dude's standing on top of a log. And, I mean, the size isn't too bad. This is their default size, obviously, and then again, one of the nice things about 3D printing is you can goof around and adjust that to your liking. So I thought, okay, you know what, maybe I need to try, need to try printing one out and just putting it on a regular base. Now, I didn't do a great job of either painting or printing this one. And again, that's on me. Uh, there's these huge gashes and marks on the sides there that the paint just kind of pooled up on. And that's just due to me needing to change the sheet at the bottom of the vat. I haven't done that yet. It'd be a nice vacation type project. I gotta go back and fix up the visor on that mask. This is one of the female models. Again, nice, straightforward, nightly night types and I figure let's get her on a regular base that's a 30 millimeter base they all are on 30s and hey you know what look stack up pretty well together right and the fact that we have both male and female models if you wanted let's say some kind of a basilian unit for like kings of war or vanguard that's going to work out pretty well you want to bust them out with some reaper figures that would work out quite nicely too not a huge difference, a little bit taller. Here, putting our friend on a more regular size base. You can see, I think they're gonna stack up actually pretty nice. I don't know where I got the impression that they were really tall. When I printed, you know, our multi-armed friend here, I thought that they were really gonna be big. 
And I guess it's just me because I grabbed a couple of other more recent figures that I printed out from a variety of companies, putting them on similar sized bases. And yeah, some of them may not be human or fully human anymore. But you can see here, I mean, and again, there's, there's some pretty distinct fluctuations in terms of size. Uh, so maybe it isn't just me. Maybe it's other models too. Maybe people like RN Studio and Titan Forge are just printing things a little bit large. But again, you're the commander and master of the printer. You can decide where you want to put it yourself. Now, one thing I've neglected to show you guys is the fact that they've got all sorts of cavalry for these models as well. Then again, I'm not a big fan of cavalry models because it means more models to paint, and I'm slow about that. But they do have them, and I remember like the boss of the Steel Watch Knights had like a full-on Pegasus. So if you wanted that, that might be a good one to toss in with your Bretonian style knights. So very knightly. A couple of more savage type ones as well. I didn't print many of those other than the multi-armed guy. I don't know, for some reason I thought this stuff would fit in really well with like battle yak stuff. <clears throat> Grabbing one of their Northkin Barbarian type dudes that I printed. Pretty straightforward, but again, our friend here is a little bit lower and hunched over. He's a Chaos dude. He can be a little bit bigger. Um, but anyways, I'm going to let you guys take a look at their stuff. I'll put a link down below to Dragon's Forge Miniatures. Uh, I'm going to put a link also to both their main website and to their Kickstarter that's rolling as I am filming this. But also I want you guys to check out their Patreon because they have some really cool stuff coming up. They had a um, very Soulsborne-ish set of like messed up anti-paladin cleric types. I think they were called like the Excruciar clerics. Uh, I know I'm going to be checking those out and I'm definitely going to be checking out their dwarves as well. They had a really swanky looking um, dwarven bakery in there. I'm like, I've been craving something from the bakery. <laughs> so when I saw that, I'm like, this is something I totally need for my tabletop. So yeah, uh, definitely take a look. Nice size models, print out nice. Some unique looking figures for even the most basic and stalwart of tabletop tropes. Uh, a lot of fun stuff as well in there, intermixed in all of their various sets, and hopefully something that you guys are going to enjoy as well. So, with that said, this has been High Lord Tamberlane with Obscurities and Miniatures, saying thanks for watching, and we will see you back here soon. Bye bye!